All right, I'm going to show you guys how to um, get a gold gun in Daisy because you've probably tried it before. It doesn't look quite right. This tool does it perfectly for you. So the first thing you want to do is get a gun. I want to get, um, I'm going to use rev guns real quick. So you go to your to where the mod is. Mine's in my workshop. I search for rev up here. Rev. Rev guns, there we go. So click on here. Go to... Uh, add-ons There's this one here rev guns, so I've already got this extracted to my desktop. I believe I'm gonna copy it anyway copy and let me just double check uh, Where's my work directory? There we go So yeah, I've already got rev guns here of all the um all the weapons inside of it So if you don't already have this obviously you just you paste the um PBO and if you've got Makiro's tools installed you simply just double click it and it will extract all the PBO data to a folder with the same name in the same location where you found this. So inside of RevGuns, I want to do the SRS just because it's a little bit more complicated with the selections and stuff like that. So I'm going to show you one that's difficult to do. So um, I forgot what I was looking for, SRS A2. So you've got the model here. You can't actually import this into Blender. It'll give you an error. So I've got a tool called the P3D Converter where you just simply just double click it give it a moment to do it press continue press any key to continue and it gives you this mlod version here now this mlod can be imported into blender so i'm going to copy this location file import p3d and if you don't have this you need to get armor toolbox which you can uh, edit preferences armor there, the armor toolbox so you need to install this from the link below and turn it on so now you've got the import option here, P3D. And I go to that location and look for the MLOD version here. So you import it and it will look like crap. You're like this doesn't look like the gun. So you, oh, let me just go to the view later. This is how you'll see it up here. You'll see this, um, all the mesh here. You don't need any of this mesh. So as you can see the number here, sometimes you might have one as your lowest number. You might have zero as your lowest number, whichever your lowest number is. You make sure you click on that and use this tool here, the Daisy Cleanup tool. Uh, Daisy Import Cleanup. You can get this again from my website. A simple click and it will break the gun down into hidden selections. So each one of these, it's got the, the body co, the barrel co, muzzle, and the handguard co. So th this gun alone, uh, this SRS, if we look into the config, we'll see that it has four hidden selections here. Look, hidden selections. Color one, color two, color three, color four. So that means it's called in four different images. So color one, uh, let me minimize this one second. This is just a script for all this stuff. So in this one here, the hidden selections are named here, but we don't know which one's which. So if we go for the first one and look in the hidden selection textures and find out what the first one's called. So it's a barrel. So no barrel is color one. So uh, barrel, I'm going to name this folder up here, color one. Like so, and I'm going to rename this just to to barrel. Like so, so I've got the hidden selection name and the object that's part of that hidden selection. So let's do the second one. Body, because this is the second one in the list. Like so. So I don't have to explain that every time. I hope so. Body is number two. So we find the body that is here. So color two. I'm going to rename this one body as well. Like so. And then the third one is handguard. So color three and handguard. And this is obviously color four. I can't be anything else. Color four and the muzzle. So we go. We've got all the hidden selections in there. Look, I'm going to make it a little bit more organized just for my personal preference. So there we go. We have this. So let's put a gold texture on here. Um, in my texture pack, you can get the gold like this and simply drag it on to all the parts individually. Uh, what's the fourth part? It's the muzzle, right? There we go, the muzzle. So put that on there. And that doesn't look very gold in my opinion. So I'm going to turn the metallic up and turn the roughness down. So it's very sparkly. And the thing about gold is you need this diffuse turned down a little bit. I know it looks, it doesn't look very good here, but in Daisy, it will make a hell of a difference for you guys. So that's turned down, I set that to zero. Um, there's no bump on this. 
So, well, there is, but there isn't. There's going to be a smooth gold. That's all I want for this. So, this is kind of how it's going to look in game. Um, turn the roughness all the way down. It's, it's a little bit too much. So, I'll go back there. So, it's, no, I want it. I want it shinier. Roughness. There's a good spot. So, we've got that. And then, all this is all set. Texture's ready to go. So I've got this tool here, which I've been working on quite a lot lately, the Daisy Texture Animator. It was originally for t animated textures, so you can like have like animations on your actual gun, like a video playing on your gun. But you can also use this for single textured mods. So this creates a mod folder for you as well, which is absolutely amazing. So this mod folder, I'm going to call it flankers underscore gold underscore guns. So this is the name of the mod, so the PBO. So my name is Flanker. This is the author of the mod. So whatever you put your name in here. The new mod's class name. So this is the golden underscore SRS. And the original class name we can get from the config. So we go back to this config here. So as you can see, it's rev. So as in the classes, you have this rev base up here. This is the original one with all the scripting inside of it. This works sometimes but sometimes it doesn't work so i always like to go for the the first um how mods do it so you can't actually spawn this base in as a gun and run around around with it so what they do is they do they they copy this script into one that you can spawn like this one here the rev srsa2 you can spawn this one so this is the one i'm going to copy like they might have a different one they might have black they might have green they might have and so on and so forth but if they don't have this class where it, it simply just copies the script one then you can use the script one but this is the prim primary just the, the copy version of it is the primary so just copy that simply and paste it in there item display name a golden SRS I'll do it. what config type is it is a weapon and then item description golden SRS um, by flanker fuck it I'll just put by flanker in there. Then the required add-ons. Again, you can get this from the original mods config. So at the top here. So the required add-ons. It's everything that's inside of these quotes, uh, inside of these brackets. But if you have something that's like this, where it's on multiple lines, like so, this will not work at the moment. You need to go to the end of the first line, press the DEL key, and bring them all up to one line, like so. Like that. So you just copy all that part there. Oh, wait, I didn't do it up here as well. So it's basically anything in between these brackets, including the quotations and the commas and all that stuff. So I'll copy this, control C, and I'll paste it in here. And now the hidden selections part. So this one had four hidden selections. So let's start with color one. So we get the name of the hidden selection, which we gathered from earlier in the config. So it's color one. And this object is the barrel, like so. And then there's a color two as well, color two. And this one is the body. And color free. You can also um, drag the model into there if you wanted to, if that's easier for you guys. And then color four as well. Color four. So I'll drag the muzzle in as well. So now we've got all the hidden selections correctly set up. And the mod folders are all set to where I want to go. So this folder here, this will go to your P drive. And this will be the. Um, so I'll go to my P drive real quick. P drive. So this is where like your DZ data and stuff like that is the core and the way it extracted your game data. But I've also got a couple of mod folders here. So this flanker, this will actually create a flanker PBO. This got all my stuff inside of it. So the flanker skins is just something I've been working on. Just testing some stuff. And yeah, it will create a mod folder in this directory by that name there. So I'm happy with everything on there. So as this is not an animation, I don't have to mess around with these frames. I can keep it at one. And with it being one, the FPS doesn't matter. This can just stay at 30. It won't affect anything that whatsoever. That only affects it if you go do more than one frame. And the Fresnel, this is currently in beta testing. But all these data, all this data here is from the Bohemia's website. So let's just say you're working on some lead. You can get the Fresnel values from the lead material. But we're working on gold. The reason why I'm choosing gold for this tutorial as well, because gold has its own world reflection RV map. So that's what makes it unique. 
So there's this one, and there's also platinum. Platinum gives like a more of a a punchy reflection, and gold gives a golden reflection. So we're going to use gold. And the outputs, I want the color, I want the no HQ, and the SMDI. Uh, there's no emissions, so I'm not going to bother with the emissions. And I want the, uh, yeah, do I want the alpha? It doesn't matter. I, I check alpha anyway, just because it makes the images look a little bit better for me. And then with that all set, I click generate mod. And let it do its thing. It's blue, so that means it's creating something. So as you can see, we've got the folder here. I'll wait for this to bake. Also, the resolution, I've set this to 2K, just because that's that's my favorite little sweet spot. But you can change this to, from 1K to 2K to 4K. I think I've added a 0.5K in there as well, Joe, for just test res renders, because obviously the bigger the image, the longer it takes to render. So let's just have a quick look into this folder and see what where we are at on this at the minute. So they've got golden SRS. It goes generating the images as we go. So let's have a look at the color real quick. It should just be the yellowy color. Yeah, it's perfect. And it creates the RV mats for you. So we've got the RV mat all set up. Right, so as you can see, we've got the golden Fresnel and we've got the golden environment. So everything's all set. You don't have to change none of this now. You can simply just crunch this folder and it will work. So I'm going to use PBO project from Makiro's tools. Select my source folder and that one I just created, which is here. Select folder and uh, set up. Make sure you uncheck this here as well. Do not convert PNGs to PAA. You want it to convert them, so you uncheck this box. Leave it unchecked. Obviously, the, the setup as well. That's If you're not sure about this, let me know in the comment section. I'll make a video on how I set this up so it crunches my mods directly straight to my test server. So... I can click crunch here and then launch my test server and it'll work perfectly. So let's crunch and see if I get any errors. Hopefully I do not get any errors because I haven't changed anything. So it should work straight out of the box for you guys. Uh, yep, everything's correct. So now I can simply start my test server like so. So I just fast forwarded that a little bit for you. So. You don't have to sit and wait through the black screen with me. So I've got an object now. And let's have a look at what we named this class. We called it Golden SRS. So we search for that in our objects up here now. Golden SRS. There she is. So I click on it. Spawn it in at a thousand or else you'll get it damaged. Go to ground. And if I put it in my hand. I miss my hand. There you go. You've got your... Um, got yourself a nice... Uh, golden gun there, guys. If you want to get rid of these um, white reflections as well, I could show you exactly how to do that in just one moment. Let me exit this. So if I exit this, uh, let me exit again. It's inside of the RV map values. So we need to get the RGBs for the yellowy color. So let me just open up Blender real quick and get the gold ref the color from here. Go to RGB. You can see it's 0 0.9, 0 0.99, 0 0.7, 0 0.1. So I'll just set it at 1. I'll show you actually as I'm doing it. I can't remember already. I've already forgot. So golden SRS. So we'll just do it to the body bit here. Just so we can see how it affects it differently. So as you can see up here. Oh, that's that's um, specular here. Sorry, that's the one. I got so confused then for a minute. So we go to the, the specular here. It's a red, green, blue, and alpha. So the red value was this. So if I copy that. I paste that into here, paste, and then do the same for the green, control C and control V and control C, control V. So I save that. So the reflections on the body now should be the same goldy color as the gun. So it make it look a little bit better. You can obviously tweak this to, you, to how you want it to look. So I'm going to crunch again, because I did the change of config, that's done correctly. I'm going to launch my test server, and I'll skip this um, loading screen for you guys again, so you don't have to sit through the black screen. Alright, so there we go, let's try this uh, golden one one more time. Object, SRS underscore gold, oh no, that's right, wrong. Golden SRS, right? Goldern, no. Not Coronish, so Goldern. <laughs> Ground 1000 health. Let's have a look. Now I can see how it's more of a 
the reflections color, they're changed. They're like more of a yellowy color now. I don't know if you can see it very well, but on these little pit bits here where I'm zooming in on, this is the the color of that um, that we just set. So you can make this red if you wanted to, and all your reflections will be like a ready color. But I, obviously, I don't I don't recommend this. And obviously, the sunlight I I hate the sunlight part in Daisy. I'm still trying to figure out how to make this sunlight look a little bit better. But that guy is how you make a nice um, golden gun. So. If you like this video, hit that like button and don't forget to join the Discord. I shall see you guys in the next video.